Hello there. Well, I've got a bit of a hangover this morning. I could murder a nice lolly. One of the signs that you've maybe had too many beers the night before is um, if you wake in the morning and realise with some considerable amount of horror that at some stage in the proceedings you contacted Police Scotland to tell them that a squirrel had crossed the road in front of their police station and uh, you hoped that that squirrel was okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I was just trying to lighten things up for them. That's the sort of bizarre logic that you have when you've had too many beers. You think to yourself, I'll just lighten things up for the police and send them a funny communication. I mean, it's not easy for the police these days, you know. Um, for a start, there's not enough of them. It used to be the case that there was height restrictions and you could only join the police if you were a certain height. But that seems to have uh, gone and uh, they're now employing, uh, employing quite wee people. Um, you know, if, you, if you're a wee police officer, then whatever situation you're going into, you're immediately at a disadvantage unless you're dealing with someone who is also very wee. Um, and I've even seen wee office, officers on the telly in riot situations, you know, and you think, that's just ridiculous. You know, in the old days when police officers were, were big, um, they could command a certain presence and put the fear of death in people, if that's the term, just by their very size and their presence. You know, wee officers, it's just, it's, I, I see it as... It's, it's just not good. Um, so as I said, try to lighten things up for them. Um, I dare say there'll be a chat in the door at some point. Mr Burns, it's about that squirrel. Okay, so I'm on the Fort and Clyde Canal again. This is the spur that uh, leads to Port Dundas. Um, and there's something in this area, not far from Fir Hill Football Stadium, that I want to show you. So, come with me. It's a project. They're building a project. You just can't beat a good project. What they're actually doing here is transforming what in essence has been a bit of unused land into a park right beside the Fourth and Clyde Canal. 
or the spur of it that leads to Port Dundas. I mean, I've never seen a park getting created before. Usually they're nibbling little bits off parks and doing their best to build stuff on green parks, but they're actually making a, a park here. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, there wasn't a great deal on this land. In the past, I think there's been clay pits, firestone pits, um, I think a boat building yard, and even some garden allotments. But in essence, it's just been not used much, and I think a lot of it was probably just to spoil from some of these pits. And it's a sort of place where it's a bit brand spanking new. It's not quite finished yet. There's still bits uh, that you can't go on, but, but a lot of it's finished, and you're constantly wandering around thinking, oh, I wonder where this leads. You see some stairs and you think, oh, I wonder where that goes. Where does this go? And you can have the t time of your life just exploring every nook and cranny. And I discovered it just a few days ago, and to my utter astonishment, I mean, you can generally get a good view way to the west of Glasgow from the footpath alongside the canal anyway, but because there's a small hill involved here, the view is absolutely stunning. So let's go exploring and let's see if we can check out that viewpoint. You know, it's strange, it's almost like one of these computer games where you build villages and towns and various things. And what you find is that as soon as you build these things, they're almost instantly populated by people. They've created a park here, and it, there's a lot of people exploring it, doing exactly what I'm doing, sort of marvelling at the... Just the, the joy of exploring a place you've never been before. I've never been in this bit of ground before. And uh, we've got some steps here. I wonder where they lead. Let's go and find out. I wonder where that goes. In fact, I wonder where that goes. There should be signs pointing towards the ice cream van. Because I could really murder a nice lolly now. In fact, I wonder where that goes. We'll go this way.
quite a view. And it's quite astonishing that they have created a new park here. Beside the Forth and Clyde Canal, not far from Firhill Football Stadium. Come and explore it for yourself. Until the next time, I'm Eddie Burns. Take care.